Thank you. The problem with this is that you'll see my hands shaking, so. Yeah. Am I here? Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for that, those very dynamic introductory speeches to the website. Um, Honorable Minister, PS, Deputy PS, and Chief Agricultural Officer, and former, de uh, former PS, uh, Dr. Small. Just to try and hook up the fishery site. Okay, thank God. <laughs> uh, I, it is actually a bit prettier than Incredible Hulk Green, as it is there. Anyway, we have uh, this is the front page of our website, and in it we have um, one of the Newer additions is actually the fisheries management plan, which of course is a fundamental document for the fisheries division. Um, it's in PDF format, so it's the entire document. That anyone who wants a little bit more detailed information in relation to the fisheries and um, management issues and so on can just go into it. It is actually the, the older plan that has to be updated now, but once that newer plan is, is approved, and it will be up there instead. We have a little section which describes our fisheries. Just goes through a little overview of the um, fisheries, that, um, the local fisheries and some of the important species. Of course, the good old fine fish there. Where's the back button? This is not good. All right, there we go. All right, and our vessels and landing gear. In our statistics section, we have fairly generic statistics at the moment, um, basically to just give you a flavor for our fisheries, our landing sites, and um, our landings breakdown. You can click on these things and get a bigger picture, but I won't go into that right now because I only have five minutes, which I'm grateful for, actually. And these are the links to which um, the minister referred to, that you can find some interesting um, um, associations and, and agencies and, um, for, that are important to the functioning of the fishing industry, where you can buy fishing gear, um, statistics um, like FAO and ICAT, which has important, more detailed information, fishery statistics. And a little list of our publications, and um, one of my pet sections here, um, a historical review in summary form of the development of the fishing industry um, as of that, basically from the formation of the fisheries division back in 1944. It is a year-by-year -year chronology, year-by-year -year summary but some of the key events that I think that um, were important in developing our fishing industry now. And this has been there for a while and it was finally, finally got a chance to update it with some more information this year. So it's actually now pretty update and as we find more information that comes up, because a lot of this information is actually hidden in our files, that's the old moldy files that have existed in the fisheries division. Some of it has actually been taken up by other researchers and other workers and published. But a lot of some of the information actually has been lost um, and hidden in files and, and getting it out is important to us. I think it's important that um, you have the context in which our um, fisheries have developed over the years. And um, an important thing also is an uh, aspect of our fisheries um, management is vessel inspection. Not only in terms of, of understanding how many vessels you have in terms of your fleet, but also important in terms of safety. We have uh, vessels have to be registered, they have to be inspected. And so, and the number of aspects of the registry that are important, um, and forms have to be filled out to record certain information. So again, to, as a cost-effective measure as well, as also for convenience of the persons in the fishing industry, you have a lot of the application forms that you can just download in PDF format 
from the um, from the website, print them, fill them in, and bring them in. And so it reduces time and, and effort on everybody's part. And I think that's about it in summary. Um, what we are looking to develop in the coming year would be some sort of guest page whereby people could give us, you know, you solicit information and discussion. Uh, how that exactly would be facilitated, we are not sure, but it would be a good thing to get people to be able to interact more directly. I know there's the help desk where you can send in questions, and I think Mark or somebody would probably be talking about the help desk. But also, something important also, is sometimes we don't get some information that is critical. People have information, they keep, they keep it to themselves, and over years, of course, if it's not taken from people, or people are not allowed to speak and give you that information, it is lost forever. And so we're going to try and facilitate some sort of guest page where people could give us information. Especially, in my, uh, a lot of it would probably be historical stuff, like reading the site that would say, no, 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 this didn't happen that year, this is what happened, which is important um, to understand um, our fishing industry. And that is it, I think. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yes. Can we